So you think you're so high-tech because you have a smartphone. But yet, you still miss those important calls and important messages when you have your smartphone in your pocket or in your bag. Today, we're going to feature a very important accessory, a smartwatch that will help you get updates right away by just a flick of your wrist. Check this out, guys. So we bring you the Pebble Steel. The Pebble Steel is the second generation of the Pebble smartwatch. The first gen was released about two years ago from a very famous uh, crowdsourcing website in the US called Kickstarter. It made $10 million. You hear me? $10 million before the product was even made. And this one is even a better version of it because it's now made of steel, right? So let me show you what's in the box. First off, first off this is the watch. Uh, this is the matte black version of the watch. And as you can see clearly, it's a really nice uh, plastic looking watch. And then let's go on to the other product. It, it comes with a uh, watch foam, which normal watches uh, come with. And you can keep it easily like this if you want to keep your pebble in the box. Now, on the side of the box, you'll see that it comes with a charging cable. Now, the nice thing about the charging cable on the pe Pebble is uh, it adapted the Apple technique of magnetic uh, charging cables. So, you just, you have this magnetic cable that goes to the side and just charges your smartwatch like that easily. Of course, the other end plugs into your USB charger. It didn't come with a USB charger because uh, it expects most people already have their own USB chargers at home. So you can just plug into any USB charger that you have and it'll, it shall charge your uh, Pebble smartwatch conveniently. So it comes with an extra strap as well. The extra leather strap that comes with your Pebble is something for the, the, for the guys who want to wear them on special formal occasion so it comes with an extra leather strap uh, and then it, it, it says pebble at the back so that's what's in the box now let's move on to what the hardware is all about it's basically a steel version of the original pebble watch it's housed in a nice classic square face design that doesn't actually make it look geeky compared to the first Pebble smartwatch that was released. Because of its design, it's comfortable to wear and doesn't even feel bulky on the wrist. It comes in two colors, the brushed steel or the matte finish, which is the one that we have today. It also comes with a leather strap for chic required occasions. So I've been using the Pebble Watch, uh, the Pebble Steel for a while now, and um, it boasts a seven-day battery life. But in my usage, I actually charge it every three days or sometimes every two days. Uh, maybe uh, this is dependent on the actual usage of the person. I'm a heavy smartphone user, and I have a lot of notifications coming in and out of the watch. And I also do a lot more, which I'm going to tell you about later which makes the battery life shorter than the regular watch or the regular usage of one. So, um, seven days is not working for me, uh, but it's still a very good smartwatch in that sense that it lasts for three days. Now, at first glance, you may see the Pebble watch is a dress watch, you know, the Pebble steel, I mean, because, because of its uh, composition and its make, but it's actually water resistant. 
So meaning you can swim with the Pebble smartwatch and you can actually even take a shower with it. You don't need to take it off or when you're brushing your teeth or something. You don't need to worry on getting the steel wet on this watch. So that's one cool factor about the Pebble smartwatch. Now let's talk about the basics on this watch. Basically, the functions that you can get, as I said earlier, are the notifications. So you have an SMS, you have caller ID. If somebody calls you, you know who's calling. If you have a text message, you get the text message on the watch. But you also get the updates on the apps that you have in your phone. If you have Facebook there, if you have Instagram there, if you have basically whatever notifications that you've activated on your smartphone, whether it be Android or iOS, you'll get it on your watch. So those are the basic functions that you need. And these are the functions that are really critical and important on a day-to-day -day basis. When you're driving your car or you're in your mall, this is what I was talking about. All you need to do is to look at your watch and you'll know who's calling or who's texting you and can decide to take that call if it's important or not. So let's talk about health. Health is very critical nowadays and people uh, are very concerned about uh, their health. So they do a lot of exercising, they do a lot of walking, and you might see these products out in the market like the, the Jawbone app which monitors your sleep or your mo it acts as a pedometer that monitors how many steps you've taken in a day and then it computes it and equates it to the amount of calories that you burned or you gained. The Pebble smartwatch or the Pebble Steel also has an update that now allows you to do all of that. So it doesn't just act as a watch, it doesn't just act as a notification device, it now acts as a health device. It tracks every uh, step that you take, just as I said, and it helps you know how many calories you burn. And in fact, it also, if you have the specific application, it also monitors the, uh, your sleep patterns. So if you wear it while you're sleeping, you know how many times you've woken up or how deep your sleep was, which is essential when you wake up and you know you're feeling groggy and you need coffee. You can then look at your data and find out, oh, it's because I wasn't able to sleep well last night. That's why I'm having a bad hair day or something like that. It's mostly because of your sleep. Anyway, going back, the Pebble Steel does that for you as well. So I've been talking about apps, right? Apps. So you're saying this is a watch? and you can install an app on it? Yes. So how does it work? You have an app on your smartphone that works together with an app on the Pebble Steel. That's the nice thing about the Pebble Steel because the Pebble Steel allows you to install certain applications that work with the apps on your phone. Uh, they've also opened up this, this whole Pebble Steel software system on the internet allowing for different developers to develop special apps that might fit your need, okay? So there are different apps and different watch faces that you can install on your phone. Since I mentioned the apps, you can install different sports apps on your phone and allow this to track your daily sports activities. Let's say cycling. If you want to download a cycling app, it'll transmit the, G the GPS data on your phone and that cycling app will transmit the information on your phone. So you can actually mount this on your bicycle and see the speed that you're at, the pace that you're at, and even your location. So you don't need a separate sports watch uh, to wear during your activity. You can just use your Pebble. And that goes the same for running. You can also download a running app, let's say RunKeeper, and it'll again use the GPS and the data on your smartphone, transmit it to your watch, and give you your actual pace. Now there's one thing missing though. We wish it had a heart rate uh, monitoring capability, but the runaround about that is you can get a heart rate monitor for your phone which connects to your there are Bluetooth heart rate monitors in the market and it'll still transmit the data on your smartwatch. So the important thing to know is the smartwatch can port whatever important data is on your phone and you can visualize them on your watch. When you're running or you're biking, you don't want to keep on looking at your phone. You can get a glimpse of all the data on your watch. And that is how important the smartwatch is for your health.
One major disadvantage when you're using this on your sports event, or your, when you're running or cycling, is the battery life. If you, if you use them in tandem, then they'll tend up to eat more battery life and you'll end up with a dead phone or a dead watch before your long bike ride is even over. So make sure to bring an extra power bank if you plan to use these together. So there's more on the Pebble Steel right after the break. Hey guys, we're back and now we're going to show you how the Pebble Steel can control some media functions on your phone, right? So when you're jogging, again, another exercise thing, you're listening to music on your phone and you want to change the track or you want to skip tracks. All you need to do again is flick your wrist and press these uh, buttons on your smartwatch or your Pebble Steel and it'll move to the next track. You can also, um, of course, increase the volume, decrease the volume, change tracks or change playlists, right? from your Pebble Steel. So that's how you control the music on your Pebble Steel. Now, one a major function that I like on the Pebble Steel is the development of an app that will allow you to basically take snapshots from your smartphone on your watch. Now, some of you may ask, what do I need that for when I can actually just take a picture from my phone, right? Well, let's say you're on a trip and you have a selfie stick, which all of us love to have, right? I'm sure a lot of you have selfie sticks out there. Um, I must confess that I do have one as well. And on, if you have a selfie stick, you'll need a Bluetooth clicker. Now, what does a Bluetooth clicker do? So when you have your phone up there on your selfie stick and you press the Bluetooth button, it'll take the snapshot of you or whatever you're trying to pick, take a picture of. Because basically, you can't reach your, stretch your finger off to the end and press it, right? So you, you get what I mean. So with the Bluetooth clicker, you can take that shot easily. Well, now with your Pebble smartwatch, you can actually take the picture from your Pebble Steel, click that button, take that snapshot, but with the addition of being able to see what you've taken right on your smartwatch. Well, I know it's it's a little hazy because it's black and white, right? And it's on an e-paper display, so it's very pixelized. Well, what it does is it makes sure that the orientation of the snapshot you're taking is correct. And that, for me, is an A-plus for the Pebble Steel, a very useful function that a lot of people will need. Now, since we're talking about the cameras, and a lot of you are into sport cameras nowadays, the nice thing about the Pebble Steel's open source development kit is even you GoPro lovers out there is going to love the Pebble Steel because GoPro has developed an app for the Pebble Steel that will allow you to control your GoPro right from the watch. So if you want to record something and your camera is set on a, uh, on a different area, you can easily control it through your watch in tandem again with your smartphone. So basically, whatever your smartphone can do, this has an app that controls the app on your phone and controls the device. And that's a nice thing for GoPro lovers out there. That's why a lot of Go GoPro lovers are, are buying Pebble smartwatches. Talking about apps, again, an app for an app for an app. There's an app for everything, and that's what we always hear. Even Mercedes-Benz has come up with an app for the Pebble. And what does that app do? It tells you where your car is parked. It tells you if your car's, if, if, your, if your Mercedes-Benz is locked or not. Those are just some of the basic functions that the, the Mercedes-Benz app can do for your Pebble. So again, the Pebble is one of the most uh, widely developed uh, uh, smartwatch applications out there. And there's a lot of things you can do with it. Now, since we've talked about the different functions that you can do with the Pebble, and those are just some, there are tons and thousands of different applications on the internet right now. Some are useless and some are very useful, but they're there. And you can do it on your Pebble smartwatch, right? Um, let's talk about the basic function of the Pebble Steel, which is to act as a watch, right? So as a watch, the cool thing about the Pebble Steel is there's a watch face for everyone. 
The app is also a certain watch face, but there's also a watch face watch face. What do I mean about that? Meaning there are basic watch faces that you can download on the internet for the mood you're in today, okay? So here are some examples of some watch faces. Uh, there's one that will allow you to tell the time. There's one that will allow you to tell the time and the weather. There's one that will even let you see Mario on your screen. There's even one watch face that will allow you to see the time and live pictures of Mars. Yes, you know there's NASA's rover will send pictures through a website and those photos go through an app that feeds through your watch. How cool is that for you nerds out there, geeks, who want to see how Mars looks like in this time of day. With the pebble steel, we're sure that there's a watch face for you and you will never be home alone. The bottom line is, for us here at MyTech Island, the pebble steel or the pebble is a very good smart watch because it's, an, it's the perfect accessory for your smartphone. And it does just that, an accessory. It allows you to control everything in your smartphone from your wrist. Because if, you're, if your smartwatch has a camera built in, it becomes a camera watch. If your smartwatch has a phone built in, it becomes a phone watch, which is too much. You're duplicating whatever your smartphone can do on the watch, which is too much. You'll end up using just one. So we hope we'll be able to feature the Apple Watch soon. I'm sure a lot of you are waiting for that. Don't forget guys, you'll be able to check out our episodes on my TV on Sky Cable Cebu, channel 30. And uh, our YouTube channel as well is there. Our Facebook page is there. And our website, www.mytechisland.com. This has been Ryan. Hope you have a good day.